Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in operating systems that is deadlock detection. So in our previous session we have seen the deadlock uh, avoidance that is a banker's algorithm uh, where we can have to allocate the resources such that the situation doesn't yield to the deadlock. And now we'll see uh, one more uh, method to handle the deadlock that is a deadlock detection. So in deadlock detection, so first the resources should be allocated and then we have to detect the deadlock. So the deadlock will be detected once the deadlock occurs, right. So without delay, we will start the session that is deadlock detection. So actually this deadlock detection can be done with the two approaches so two scenarios for two scenarios one is resources with single instance so i'll tell what is this single instance and a multiple instance okay and the second one is resources with multiple instance so actually the same thing we have discussed about uh, in the deadlock prevention also okay sorry deadlock uh, avoidance so the deadlock avoidance also done in these two approaches one is a uh, uh, resources with a single instance and resources with a multiple instance so in our previous session we have seen a banker's algorithm where we can avoid the deadlock situation so there we have seen the resources like r naught r1 and r3 where r0 is having some 10 resources and 10 quantity r1 with some 6 quantity and r3 some uh, 7 quantity so these are nothing but instances so if there are only r0 r1 and r2 so only one resource is available in each set then we are will we will be saying it as a resource with a single instance and this is an example for resource with a multiple instance that means 10 resources are of category r0 6 resources 6 quantity of resources r1 and 7 quantity of resources r2 for example r0 take one resource as a printer so there are 10 printers and there are 6 scanners some there are 7 uh, some external hard disk or any other requirement okay resources different resources so if a process wants to get, get executed so it requires some five uh, resources that means five printers and uh, two scanners and uh, some one hard disk like that we have divided this one right so we have seen all these things in a banker's algorithm so that's the same thing if only one resource is there with each category then we will call it as a resources with single instance that means only one quantity and multiple instances so multiple instances means that is a more quantity more than one quantity so here we are how to go with the different approaches based upon the instance of these resources if it is a single instance then simply that can be done with two categories one is a resource allocation graph so we need to draw the resource allocation graph so if that graph doesn't have any cycles then we can say it is there is no deadlock if there is one any one cycle with a uh, uh, single direction flow of control with a single direction then we can say it as a deadlock okay and another one is wait for graph wait for graph so if it is a multiple instances that also can be done with a one approach and another one approach is a same banker's algorithm banker's algorithm so we have seen this banker's algorithm but here a little bit difference a slight difference will be there right so once you refer this banker's algorithm in our uh, channel so that you will be getting clarity what exactly done in this banker's algorithm i'll post the banker's algorithm link in the description so just go through that before uh, understanding this concept okay yes so these are the different approaches we are going to use for deadlock 
detection right so we'll we'll go one by one so we'll draw this resource allocation graph and from this resource allocation graph we'll go with the wait for graph and also by taking multiple instances we'll solve it with banker algorithm once again i'm saying this deadlock detection will be applying only when the deadlock occurs so we have to detect so that means we have to so we need to get the scenario and we have to understand and we need we need to find out whether the state is a safe state or an unsafe state unsafe means that that results to the deadlock situation okay so let us see uh, first this resource allocation graph and wait for graph so we'll take one scenario and we'll draw these graphs okay so let us see this example this is a scenario so from this scenario we need to find the resource allocation graph and corresponding wait for graph so here uh, let us consider p as a process and r as a resource so four scenarios are there where process p1 holds the resource r2 and requesting r1 to complete its execution so let us take p1 it holds resource r2 okay so let us take r2 it holds so if the arrow mark is towards the process that means r2 is allocated to p1 and requesting r1 to complete its execution so it was requesting so arrow mark will be towards the resource so this is r1 see process is represented with a circle and resource is represented with a box next p2 holds r1 so this one was allocated to p2 okay so this is an income and requesting r4 p2 holds r1 requesting r4 so it will be requesting r4 okay then p3 holds r4 so arrow mark will be towards so p3 so p3 holds r4 requesting r3 so towards resource next p4 holds r3 and requesting r2 okay so this is a resource allocation graph resource allocation graph okay so here you can observe it forms a closed circle okay it forms closed circle this is the first point second point you can see so this is a closed circle second point the flow is in single direction the flow is in single direction so obviously we can say there is a deadlock there is a deadlock see simple if p1 wants to complete its execution it holds r2 but requesting r1 so it requires resource 1 to complete its execution which was being allocated to p2 and if p2 wants to complete its execution it have to get a resource r4 which has been already allocated to p3 and in order to complete the p3 it requires a r3 which is already allocated to p4 and if p4 wants to be get executed it requires resource r2 which has been hold with p1 so if p1 wants to get a complete its execution that's a never ending process okay so this is called as a, a, a i mean a resource allocation graph resource allocation graph and the second one wait for graph so what is this wait for graph means we can simplify this resource allocation graph we can simplify the resource allocation graph by removing 
resources by removing resources just representing with the process see p1 depends upon p2 okay because p1 depends upon r1 which has been allocated to p2 so we can simply write it as p1 which can be represented i mean depends upon process 2 it will be depending upon p2 upon completion of p2 then only p1 will be completed so p2 depends upon r4 which was allocated to p3 so p2 is depending upon p3 p3 depends upon r3 which was allocated to p4 p4 and p4 depends upon r2 which is allocated to p1 so again you can see there is a closed loop closed loop and flowing single direction the flow is in single direction so that means there is a deadlock so in this way we can detect the deadlock so once again i'm repeating this deadlock detection will be done only after deadlock arises so we need to draw the resource allocation graph as well as wait for graph in order to detect the deadlocks and this will be sortable only for whenever the resources are with single instance you can see there will be only single instance so if we are representing this with two dots that implies this there is a multiple instances of resources that means the quantity of resources are two so but here these are all single instance so if the resources are single instance this is approach how we can detect the deadlock right so i'll stop here and in our next session we'll see uh, what how we can detect uh, the deadlocks if the resources are with the multiple instances right so let's stop here hope you enjoyed the session and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much